Today I'm going to demonstrate Print Queue Manager and show you some of the features and how to use this product to help you in your printing environment. So to quickly describe what Print Queue Manager is, uh, it's a piece of software that allows you to control the print jobs on your printers. You can load balance, you can kind of set it up so that you have failovers, and you can drag and drop jobs from one queue to another uh, to help you manage your printing environment. So I've got the software open here. And as you can see, it's got my, my printers here that I've got installed on the server. And I can see the status of all the printers and, um, you know, go to the printer properties, things like that. Um, all the stuff you would be able to do on a normal printers and faxes uh, window. Uh, but we also have another, uh, you know, a bunch of new features as well that you can do. Um, so the first feature I'm going to show you is actually just uh, the, the automated printer management, which is the key uh, part of the software. Um, so if I take this HP LaserJet printer here, um, I can select automated printer management and this little wizard will come up and, and allow me to set some, some options. And some of the options uh, you've got enable uh, it for all new jobs, which means you know it's going to take an action every time a new job comes into the queue. Um, and you've also got it, you know, you can enable it only when the printer is down or has an error or you can enable this for load balancing. So the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, what you can do with all new jobs. You know, every time a new job comes in, you can apply an action to that job. You can move it to another printer, you can copy it, you can, you know, delete it if you'd like, or you can pause it. Um, and so some of the, the actions you can take, some people use it to pause jobs, um, you know, individually. And what that allows you to do is resume them without having to have the printer set to a paused state. Uh, you can move the jobs to another printer if you have a kind of a dummy queue set up. You can have it just automatically move jobs from that printer to another one. And I'll set that up here right now, actually. Um, every time a new printer uh, print job comes in, I'm going to have it move it to this printer. I've already got this rule set up. Um, so it's telling me that that printer is not of the same exact make and model, which I understand. Um, one of the things you must note about moving print jobs is that they need to be sent to a printer that is a similar make and model um, and it must be using the same print language at least um, and you've got your options to notify the owner of the job via pop-up things like that so I've set this to move all new jobs from this HP LaserJet to this one so I'm gonna go ahead and, and print a job here okay and there's my job. And you'll notice that I printed it to the 4200, but it got moved automatically to this one. So that rule set up, uh, moved that print job from the other one uh, to this printer that I specified. <clears throat> now, this is going to give me a good example to show you one of the other features of Print Queue Managers. I can take a job from one printer. I can actually drag it to a different printer. You know, if I have another uh, PCL printer, I could drag it there. Um, and I'm going to drag it there, and then of course it, it moves it right back over because it's it's got a rule set up. Now, some of the rules you can set up are, for example, um, I can enable this only when the printer is down. So if that printer's you know errored out or out of paper or something like that, and Windows has that printer state set to you know you know some sort of an error state, I can say, well, I want you to move it to another printer. So that way, you know, if you have three or four printers all the same model and if one of them goes down you want to have it move it to another one you can go ahead and say okay I want to move it to that printer if that printer is down. Um, lastly you've got uh, load balancing which is you know if that printer already has a certain amount of documents in the queue or a certain amount of bytes uh, in spool files uh, you can just set it to uh, automatically load balance and move the the job the next job over to a different print queue. Um, so I'm actually going to turn off APM for this printer um, and just kind of again show you uh, I can move this job back and forth from these printers and then you know resume it and that's a basic overview of the print queue manager uh, it's a good product if you have uh, a lot of printers set up maybe in a print shop um, you've got a lot of uh, the same kind of printers set up and you need to manage your jobs move them back and forth um, you can use this product to, to manage, you know, remote printers and things like that as well, um, as long as you have Print Queue Manager installed on that server. And if you have any other questions or you'd like some more information on this product, just go to our website 
at printmanager.com.